completely deserted museum. Nobody anywhere. Gotta like a quiet museum. Let's read the plaque, the story of this airplane. This FW-190 was built in 1943 and factory modified for ground attack duties. Fighting on the Eastern Front, the aircraft was assigned to Fighter Wing 54 near Leningrad. On July 9th of 1943, while attacking a Soviet supply train, this plane crashed. The pilot became a prisoner in Russia, but his plane remained untouched and hidden by acres of impassable wetland and a growing forest of young saplings. This amazingly intact plane was discovered by a warbird hunter in the late 1980s and was carefully dismantled and airlifted with a helicopter. In England and later in the US, the fighter underwent, underwent an extensive restoration process. Today, the plane is the only original flyable Focke-Wulf FW-190A version fighter to take to the skies with a genuine BMW 801 engine. So that probably tells me that there's a whole bunch of these things flying, but not too many have the original engines. And this is a very early war-produced airframe. So it's an A model. They made, I'll just check my notes right here. I've got a little piece of note paper. Where'd it go? How many of these did they make? I'll refer to my careful notes. They made, well, from 1939 to 1945, they made over 20,000 of these. And there's got to be a whole bunch remaining. And I'm pretty sure this one's been flown here at this airport. Boy, that looks like a drop tank that's been dropped. FW-190 was the backbone of the German Luftwaffe from 1941 to 1945. To complete the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum project, we have collected many parts and pieces of this type of plane from Russia and Germany. The left wing shows what a aircraft recovered from Russia looks like before it was restored. Notice that it lacks the yellow on the underside of the tip that you can see on the restored aircraft. This color pattern was used on the Eastern Front to distinguish German planes from those of other countries. The bomb is an SC-250, which is 550 pounds. It was a common weapon of the German bombers, such as the Ju-87. It was also carried by some FW-190s, including the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum aircraft. The crumpled looking object is a drop tank that would be used to carry extra fuel to extend the range of the aircraft. As the name suggests, it was dropped after use. The Luftwaffe tried to recover these tanks for reuse. Next to the tank are two shackles that could attach a bomb or a drop tank to the middle of the aircraft. The fan is from a BMW 801 radial engine that powered the FW-190. Bomb looks restored. And that is an FW-190. The engine was copied by the Russians after the war. Oh, here's that wing. Oh, and the landing gear is still in it. That's the landing gear sticking out of the top left there. Talk about corrosion. So this thing was in a swamp. That's real. There's a tag. Boy. And here's, they really did put a lot of yellow marking on them. Good view of that bomb rack. 